There's so much, of course, going on in the Summer Olympics. We want to actually go way beyond the headlines, find the <laughs> best offbeat stories we could find. Nobody better to turn to than ABC's own Bill Weir in yes. London, bringing you the faster, higher, weirder side of the Olympics all over the pond. William, hello, good sir. Joshua, good to be with you, my man. Yes, it's uh, day three of this Olympiad here in London, and uh, thanks to a great performance uh, in the gym yesterday and the two gymnasts per country rule, everybody's talking about Ali Raceman today. Uh, she's the one who beat out her good friend, uh, Jordan Weber, to get a slot in the all-around finals. You know, the world champion Weber, she burst into tears when she realized she wouldn't be competing in the all-around. Conflicted because she loves her friend, obviously, but disappointed. Also, easy win for Team USA. Um, the basketball court, LeBron James and the guys beat France easily by 27 nice. points, and then after the win, you get a hug, Kobe Bryant, and you get a hug, LeBron James. In fact, everybody gets a hug from the First Lady of the United States, Michelle Obama, the rooter in chief at these Olympics, and uh, the appreciation of the players, obvious. Aww. No offense to the Vice President, but I can't imagine these guys lining up to, to wrap their arms around <laughs> Joe Biden. Uh, maybe that's they so would. True. I don't know. That's, but, um, no, that's, they would this not. Is a, <laughs> they would not, Bill. There's no way they would. <laughs> And you got to give her props for uh, getting sweaty with the guys and support. She actually visited some military families at two bases here before ba heading back to the States there. And finally, for all of us who love the Jamaican bobsled team and Eddie the Eagle and Eric the Eel, remember the swimmer who could barely keep up? Well, uh, we have a new hapless darling of these games, and his name is Hamadou Jaibo Isaka of the West African nation of Niger. You see, they got, they got a wild card entry a couple months ago and said, you, you, Hamadou, you're gonna learn how to row. So three months ago, Aww. he gets in a skull for the first time. He, he has no idea on technique. He finished a minute 40 behind the winter, panting and straining, but was so great, the cheers for him were louder than they were for the winner in this race. Aww, Brits yelling, awesome. you can do it, that you can amazing. do it. And it's just one of those fantastic moments that makes you realize that it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you win or lose. And then afterwards, he said, hey, I thought it went well. I crossed the finish line. <laughs> He's happy to be here. And said the opening ceremonies was the first time he'd ever seen fireworks. So oh, little moments cool. like that are, that's are really, really cool. so precious. You know, it would also be nice to see his parents in the stands going, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. it's great. <laughs> He is Bill Weir, and boy, his Olympics get no better. Thank you very much. Weirder and weirder. We love you, Bill Weir.